fuck, I forgot the fridge again, dude. Good morning, sunshine. Dude, I gotta start waking up earlier. I've been sick, though. I got something. I got something, dude. I'm waking up in the middle of the night, just fucking hacking a cough. Any new toilets you pooped in? No. It's been a day. What new toilet would I have shit in? Where would I have gone? <laughs> yeah, no, I actually went to this really nice toilet in fucking France, like... Dude, I'm ready to rate. I'm ready or not rate. I'm ready to react to the Halloween costumes. And then we have some good ass reactions after that, too. There's this one react video that I've been fucking waiting to watch. Um, I mean, my chat's probably not going to find it that interesting, but it's the it, it's some it's like a sociopath answering all these questions. I'm going to play that one last, but I have like four reactions. Uh, But before that, we're going to do the reactions to the uh, Halloween costumes. How many do we actually have? 70. 70 that we're doing. There was like two, 300 maybe that got like submitted. Charlotte for the sub. Blinish for the sub re. Wait, I'm reading I'm reading subs from fucking yesterday. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Blinish and Charlotte for the sub and Nitron for the 300 bits. Nitron says, life is like a coin. You can spread it any way you wish, but you can only spend it once. That is very factual. Uh, where are you finding these quotes? I feel like you're look. are you looking up, like, inspirational quotes? Or are these just quotes that you actually, like, already know? Uh, and thank you for the 300 bits. Uh, day 12 out of 100. Uh, scary facts? What do you mean, scary facts? You want to watch a video about scary facts today? I don't know, I- <sighs> Chat, I have- I have a question before Nodi goes out. Do you guys want to watch scary videos on- Okay, wait, no, here's- here's the better question. When do I wear my Halloween costume, right? Because Monday is Halloween. Not this Monday, next Monday is Halloween. But everyone's doing everything on Halloween or for Halloween on the weekend. I feel like I just do it on Halloween. I feel like I just wear it on Halloween. Like, who fucking cares? I understand it's Monday, but I feel like I, I, feel like I should still just wear... Because I'm going to be streaming Monday regardless. That's weird if I wear a Halloween costume on Sunday... And then just don't wear one on Monday, even though Monday is actually Halloween. I feel like I should actually just wear it on Halloween. Like, that makes the most sense. But everybody's doing all their Halloween shit on the weekend. Gabby Foot for the 500 bits. Is Cruz's real name really Ramsey? Yeah, I mean, I it, what, what do you think? He's lying about that? Hello, everybody flooding in! How is everybody doing on this uh, fine fucking... What day is it? Sunday. <laughs> I almost said Friday. It's Sunday. Oh my god, it's fucking Sunday. How is everybody doing on this fine fucking Sunday? We got a few things we're doing today. We're starting off uh, with reacting to my chat's uh, Halloween costumes. Uh, my chat had a few days to submit, uh, costumes from previous years or this year, uh, that were either really good or really bad. Uh, we have 70 costumes that we're going to be, uh, looking at, uh, and reacting to. Uh, after that, we're gonna get into some base reactions, but I wanted to ask you guys, uh, a question real quick. Halloween is next Monday. Not this upcoming Monday, next Monday. When do I wear my Halloween costume on stream? Do I wear it on Halloween, which would be not this upcoming Monday, which would be tomorrow, it's next Monday, or do I wear my costume that weekend? Because Halloween itself is Monday, or not this Monday, next Monday, but everybody's doing everything for Halloween on the weekend. I feel like I just wear it on Monday anyway, right? Like, it's annoying that Halloween's on Monday, but I'm going to be stream- It would be weird if I wore the costume on Sunday on stream, and then I just streamed Monday anyway. And even though it was Halloween, I'm not wearing the costume. Like, that wouldn't make sense. So I feel like I just wear the fucking costume on Monday. Uh, I was going to wear a costume today as well. Uh, just because we are going to be, like, reacting to Halloween costumes. So I thought it would fit the theme. Uh, but my Halloween costume is not in. Chat, guess I have two Halloween costumes this year. Guess what they are. Actually, three, technically. 
Because Brooks, uh, I'm doing like a little photo shoot with Brooke for one of them. Guess my two Halloween costumes. Let me actually play some Halloween music. I already said one of them. I flat out said one of them. Not Spider-Man. I'm not dressing up as fucking Spider-Man. I said I was going to do Spider-Man. That actually fucking changed. Let me actually pull it up. Let me actually pull up my Halloween costume chat and you're going to fucking raid it. Well, I mean, it's going to look different when I'm wearing it. But hold up. I'm dressing up at... Me and Brooke are dressing up as Cheech and Chong. Uh, I'm going to be Cheech, which is on the right. She's going to be Chong, which is on the left. Thoughts? Thoughts? I think that's a W costume. I And I think I could rock that. Like, like just... It's literally just the overalls, the fucking beanie. I get a fake mustache. I'll, like, it, I think that's a fucking easy costume for me. That's the, that's the easier one. The harder one to actually get to, like, not look cringy and shitty is I'm going to dress up as Jason. We're doing, we're doing Cheech and Chong and Jason and Freddy Krueger. Me and Brooke. I feel like those are, I feel like those are good. They're not, okay, Jason might be a little bit overdone, but I think a Jason costume is pretty good unless you have the shitty mask. Like this. Like, here's my issue. And it, before we even get into reacting to Halloween costumes today... Here's an issue with just Halloween costumes as, in general, is how bad they fucking look. Like, how low quality they are compared to the movies. Like, the first picture of Jason I showed was just Jason. This is... This is actually... Somebody called me a fake stoner. Buddy... <laughs> uh, okay, like, figure it out. No, I'm not... I never claimed to be a stoner. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Like, actually figure it the fuck out. <laughs> like, fake stoner. Fake stoner, dude. I smoke so many fucking doobies comparable to you. Like, I, okay. I don't care. It's not a competition on who fucking smokes more weed. I never said I was a stoner. I said I'm dressing up as fucking Cheech and Chong. Anyways, the first picture of Jason was from the movies. This is Halloween. Doesn't this look awful? Like, that looks like the fakest knife ever. It's some shitty fucking plastic ass, like, shirt. Some shitty rip. And this costume's probably, like, $90. That's what I hate about Halloween costumes. I think homemade Halloween costumes are the best. Uh, and we're gonna see some of those uh, in the uh, reactions from you guys. Uh, I only picked, like, or my mod, my mod, Cruzville, as, long, uh, as well as my other mods, uh, dub in the chat for them. Because uh, they made the slideshow for me. Uh, they picked all the costumes that I'm going to react to. Because I wanted to have as much of a surprise factor as possible. Rather than me knowing every single thing. Like every single costume and what they looked like. Uh, Dark for the sub. XOX for the sub. I briefly scanned over all of them. So I have looked at them. Uh, but I have not like analyzed the costumes more than like two seconds. Uh, big for the 300 bets. Can you play Monster Mash? No, that's copyrighted. Uh, do we play Halloween music while we're reacting to the costumes? I think, yeah, but I just play the lo-fi shit. Just because I can't play copyrighted music, because then it'll just get copyrighted. And it'll all get muted. It's for the sub, Vio, and generic for the sub. Uh, Owen for the sub, Soul, and Snowy, V, Ruby, Chromatic, uh, not Platypus. I've noticed a lot of you guys have submitted old-ass pictures, too. A lot of these costumes are from, like, when you're literally, like, six. In, like, some weird costume that your parents made. Um, I just feel like, do you guys dress up in Halloween costumes anymore? Like, most of these submissions look like old photos. Just because, like, I don't dress, like, I dress up for Halloween, but I'm a streamer. Like, if I wasn't a streamer, I feel like I would not really try in Halloween. Like, do you guys actually dress up anymore? I feel like no one really does. Like, see, that's why all these pictures are still old. A lot of them are new. Some of these, some of these are pretty new. But a lot of, like, you're going to notice while we're reacting to these, a lot of them are very new and then very old. Um, and I just think that it's kind of cool to see how the fucking fashions for outfits have fucking changed for Halloween. Dark for the sub, wet for the fridge bets. Me and my friends are going to watch Black Adam want to come. No. France, France and Fall for the sub. Um, is the music good, chat? Is it too loud? I feel like it's fine. We have Bart reacts to your Halloween costumes. Uh, this is a picture of me as the Joker. Some of the redeemed flex. Turn it up. I'm not going to turn it up. I feel like it should be good at this volume. Um, 
first first one one of you guys submitted this of me um this was <laughs> this dude it's such a low quality picture too it, it's literally such a low quality picture too this is when damn when did i wear this this was a while ago right this was like this wasn't even last Halloween. This was before that. This was like, like last May, I feel. Like not this past May, the May before that. This was like almost two years ago. I seem younger in it. I am. I, I was probably, I was, was I 18? I'm 20 now. I was, I think I was, I just turned 19 when I was in this. So this was about a year and a half ago, right? Yeah. This was like March or may it was like pretty early it might have been summer i don't know but this was before halloween this is me in the maid costume chat what are we how are we feeling about this thank god nobody had the schoolgirl costume that one was even worse the schoolgirl costume was rough the maid costume i think i actually rocked pretty well i'm a fan of this costume i think i still have this so I, I have this somewhere i don't know what drawer i have it in i still have this costume. i could have put this on I would have rather not, though. I'm happy I didn't fucking do that. Ender for the 300 bits. I'm Mango for the five. Shout out to the mods for creating the slideshow. Best fucking mods on Twitch. Actually, W in the chat for the mods real quick. Actually fucking great. Uh, Swaggy for the 300 bits. What's the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning? I didn't die. First thing. I, I've said that before. First thing I, I think of when I wake up is first, okay, I didn't die in my sleep. And then second, what do I have to do today? Those are the first two things. I'm not dead. I have to brush my teeth. I need to take my allergy medicine. Okay, what do I have to do today? <laughs> that, that's that's the, the thought process. Aided for the three. Uh, I've been going through a very rough time in my life, but your streams have really helped me through it. So thank you. Uh, I'm sorry that you're going through a rough time, but I'm glad I could help in uh, some way. And thank you for the 300 bits. Enter for the 300 bits. I think I already just read that too. All right. Now we gotta we gotta go over the mods first because they made the slideshow. We're going to uh, go over some of the mods costumes first, not all of the mods costumes. I have a shitload of mods. Uh, this is first off uh, the maker of the slideshow, Crucible, uh, aka Ramsey. Uh, he has a selection of Halloween costumes from when he was uh, younger. I I <laughs> this fucking what is this? The oh my god, Scooby Doo. Dude, you look like you look in a daze. Like you're confused. <laughs> the fucking Scooby Doo fit. I never wore one of these. These were like the hype when I was a kid. <clears throat> like literally. Did you guys ever wear any of these? Like the inflatable ones where it looks like it looks like your your legs are in a different scenario. Like in reality, he's standing on the ground, but the inflatable legs looks like he's riding a dinosaur. These are some... This is a good costume. I mean, my favorite out of all of these... Damn, I don't know. The Scooby-Doo fit just looks fucking hilarious. Like, it, it, like the, the, the fucking floppy-ass Scooby-Doo. And then this year, Gordon Ramsay. I think that's the perfect outfit to fit you, is Gordon Ramsay. Because your name is literally Ramsay. Then he is the Yoda. When he... You look like... You literally look like two years old in this. Why were your parents dressing you up as Halloween costumes? Uh, and then Thomas the Tank Engine. What's the best one? Thomas the Tank Engine's the best one? Fucking hell. I, I think I actually dressed up as Scooby-Doo. I feel like every kid's dressed up in some way. If you're, if you're like a millennia, or millennial or Gen Z, you've dressed up as fucking Scooby-Doo. You've had to have. Thomas the Tank Engine? Thomas the Tank Engine used to give me fucking nightmares. Next. The Seaman Demon. You got to stop changing your name to shit like that. What is this? I don't... It, this looks familiar. This is Josh. What is this? How old is Crucible now? I don't know. Like 16, 17. This is Willy Wonka. This is not Mr. Beast. <laughs> you said Mr. Beast? That's not... Bro, Mr. Beast dressed up as Willy Wonka. No fucking shot. The first time you saw Willy Wonka was Mr. Beast. Oh my God. That's the first time you ever saw that outfit. See, I didn't know this was the Willy Wonka outfit, but I wouldn't have said Mr. Beast. Holy shit. 
I haven't seen Willy Wonka or fucking Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in forever. I mean, it's a pretty simple costume to fucking pull off. It's it's really just the fucking the the long purple robe, the little fucking tie and the top hat, and then you're you're basically Willy Wonka. Chat, how are we feeling about this? This is the third president. How is this the third president? Who was the third president? Washington Adam wait. Washington Adams Jefferson. Is Jefferson the first the first Yeah, you gotta change the shoes. See, the, here's my issue with the outfit. You didn't fucking match the outfit, right? Your shoes are not... You gotta wear, like, dress shoes. And I know you, you probably don't want to wear dress shoes, but, like, to actually complete the Willy Wonka fit, you're supposed to look professional, but also, like, you own a massive candy factory in a fictional land. You wouldn't be wearing Adidas running sneakers. That's the only, that's the only critique of this costume that I may have. Sky for the sub, death for the sub, a bird for the fringe bets. I should be mod because I'm stronger and smarter and also better. You also got timed out in the beginning of my stream for spamming. And you're a VIP. The alpha for the sub. Just Kyo for the five fringe bets. Ender for the fringe bets. What is this? <laughs> like, like, I don't. Dude, I, like, I was, I, when I initially, when, when fucking Crucible sent me this slideshow, I'm scrolling through this, and I see this, why are they all seven? It's old pictures. That Jake, the, you think this is Jake now? This is like 10 years ago. Dude, what the fuck? How old, how old are your mods? My mods are like 18. I'm saying most of these are old pictures. Most of my mods are like 15 to 20. Most of my mods are like sophomores and juniors in high school. These are old photos. I literally said that. This is when Jake was like 10. What is this? This is like the worst fucking costume. I'm sorry. This is the worst costume ever. What is the dog doing? Is the dog sniffing you? Like, and why are you wearing inflatable pants? I, I, it doesn't make sense. Did you buy this at a store? How is it? What is this? It's eating ass. But where did you even find this costume? No, nah, but these are all, uh, these are all, like, what my mods submitted from previous years. I don't know how old all my mods are, but I, I know most of my mods are between, like, 16 and 20. Most of my mods are, like, middle, late high school. It's the same thing as my viewers. My average viewer on Twitch is, like, 16. 15, 16. So that's what, like, most of these, uh, Halloween costumes are gonna be. Uh, this is my mod. Dressed up as a fucking hot dog costume. I, I, like, why are you trying to make it look like a picture for, like, a SoundCloud fucking album? Like, you, you have the upwards angle of you in the Halloween, in, in the fucking hot dog fit, covering your face. This is not, like, this is not, this, like, you're, yeah, the sound, this is literally, like, a SoundCloud cover photo. Or SoundCloud, fuck. Like, an album cover. Like, what would the name, what would the name of the cover be? Or the name of the song? This is a single. This is like dreams and nightmares. <laughs> like some knockoff fucking... The, 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 like, what's the name of the... Condiments. Yeah. Dude, the name of the song is just condiments. Oh my god. Dude, you could actually make a song with this as the fucking cover. No, but what's something sad? What's something... Everybody's just saying glizzy. What's something sad? Like a sad song that you could have to this. Too many sausages. <laughs> Too many sausages. Some shit like that. Fuck. Oh my god. Sour pickles. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, it literally looks like an album cover. I mean, the costume itself is literally you're just in a hot dog costume. This is dog man. See, this is what I mean. Motherfuckers are like, is this how old your mods are? Dude, he's an infant in this photo. <laughs> the, okay, this costume sucks. I'm going to keep it real. I mean, it's not your fault. You were like four in this picture. Your mom gave you an Elmo costume. The Angry Bird fit is at least respectable. The Angry Bird is respectable. You got the Angry Bird shirt. You got the mask. That's good enough. It's good enough. Somebody just said his mom is bad. Okay, let's relax. Okay, everybody say... Stop, chat. Stop, stop. Why do we... What? What? 
We're commenting on the costume, not his fucking mom. Okay? The Angry Birds one is good. Yeah, the Angry Birds one is good. The Elmo one is just basic. Oh, God. <laughs> I had this same... I had this same fucking Minecraft costume. Not this exact one. I had a fucking Minecraft costume when I was 10. Literally the same picture. I wish I could find it. I should have fucking looked for him. I had a Minecraft Steve costume. Had the full fucking fit. The legs and everything. Just walking like a fucking robot. I had the pickaxe. Y'all ever buy one of those? Biggest waste of money ever. You go to a mall, it's like a $60 fucking cardboard pickaxe. Stampy. I, this is a good costume. This is a good co- It's nostalgic, right? Like, the, the picture is somewhat low quality. This is like- This is like old nostalgic Minecraft memories. Dressing up as fucking Stampy. I- I feel like this is the nostalgic costume. Yeah, the Stampy- The Stampy fucking long head or whatever. Stampy long nose. Which one is it? I haven't watched Stampy in fucking 10 years. Literally. The last video I ever watched of Stampy was when he tried to fake that he- He launched in a rocket ship. Into the fucking space. In like vanilla Minecraft on an Xbox 360. And I believed that you could do that. And then I tried to do it myself. Uh, Alright, now we're into some fucking creepy ones. This is weird as shit. This is- <laughs> The IT costume? You deadass guy- You went in the fucking forest? You went in the forest? How- How old is this picture? You went in the forest? Dude, look at that! I mean, it's actually cool. Like, it's a well-made costume. But, oh my god! <laughs> the arm is actually, like, insanely realistic as well. Ugh. Oh. What mod is this? This isn't mods anymore. Now we're on to the viewers. Now we're on to the actual chatters. These are old- These are old fucking Halloween costumes from my chatters. I- I think this is a-, a like, an actually- a, a, like, a decent costume. Uh, the- the blood looks pretty real. You got the raincoat. It's also a pretty simple costume to, like, pull off. You just need a balloon. The makeup- it- uh, eh. Mm. The makeup's not that scary. Like, this picture isn't terrifying, but this is terrifying. Like, if I'm walking in the woods and I see this, I'm actually running away. It's the it, it's from the it movie. What is it, this isn't it itself though. What what character is this? Somebody said L Joe. You think this is an L costume? How's this L Joe? Georgie. I've never seen it. I've only seen parts of it. Um Death for the sub, they love for the three bets. What is your favorite football team? Uh I don't have one. Uh, really, I, like, I mean the Eagles, but I don't really watch football. Uh, Scarcore for the Thurgeon Bets. Uh, bro skipped arm day. Uh, who? Oh! <laughs> Are you saying bro skipped arm day? Because he- Dude, what if that's real? What if that's real? What if they're actually just missing an arm? What if they're actually just missing an arm? Joe for the three. Is there any daily or weekly traditions in your stream? Yeah. Uh, like when react days are and shit like that. What do you mean, Joe? Are there any weekly traditions? Chat, what traditions are in my stream? Like, starting off the stream with music, shit like that. You also created your account four minutes ago, which may leads me to believe that you've been banned in my chat and you're trying to not get banned. Uh, so that's a fairly new account. Arcane for the sub. Aurelio for the fringe bets. I'm gonna be Darman for Halloween and we're gonna go... We're gonna... We're, we gonna all that candy. Dude, you gotta type out the sentence right. I'm gonna be Darman for Halloween, and we gonna all that candy. Do you mean steal all the candy? Hyped for the sub, Bookie for the Thringe Bets. Stop being a hater. I'm not being a hater. Blast for the sub, and Scarcore for the Thringe Bets. Oh, Scarcore said that was for the previous costume. Okay. Chat, do y'all steal? Like, okay. Off topic. You're, you're trick-or-treating. I haven't trick-or-treated since sixth grade, but you're trick-or-treating, okay? You walk up to, uh, like a bag of candy. Or a bucket of candy. It says, take one. How many are you taking? No one's there. No one's there. How many are you taking? See, a lot of people, like, I would say it's respectable to say, I'm going to take, like, two, three, maybe four, right? Like, saying you're going to take one, you're lying. If it says take one and you actually take one, you're capping. Like, you're actually capping. Most people might take a fistful. You're a menace. 
if you take the whole bucket, right? I've done that once. I've done that once or twice, okay? I remember I was in, like, fifth grade. I'm running around. I remember. It was a, it was a, a tray of Snickers. It was, like, a hundred of them. It said, take one. I dumped that shit in my bag and walked away, and I went, damn. That was, like, the first time I actually had, like, regret. I was like, wow, I kind of feel bad. And then I just did it again at the next one. <laughs> but I mean, like, bro, it's going to get taken anyway. Like, it, like, so I remember just being like, wow, I just actually stole all that candy. Well, it's not stealing because it's out, but it says take one. So you didn't follow the rules. Um, but, like, after that, most of the time, if it said take one, I would take, like, four or five. So I would still take more than it said. But I wouldn't take the whole bucket. Because I always felt bad about that. Zackish for the sub. Like, I don't even... I don't, I don't even think that... I feel like this isn't one of my viewers, right? Like, it looks like it could be. But the... Uh, like, this looks like you found this. There's no shot you... you act, one of my viewers actually dressed up as this. Like, what is this? Like, this isn't even a costume. It's a JoJo reference, but what is it? It's Killer Queen from JoJo. But I feel like that's not even... Oh my god, that looks nothing like it. Oh my god, that looks nothing like it, dude. This is Killer Queen from JoJo. You wore a pink morph suit. You wore a pink morph suit and then just drew a six pack on it and wore sandals. This is not, I, this is not a viewer of mine. Like, I, I don't believe that this is, yeah, no, this is Cap. You found this picture and fucking submitted it. Regardless, what the fuck is this costume? <laughs> this is. <laughs> Dude, the face is the worst. The face, dude, you actually just drew on the eyes. Oh my god. And I feel like here's the issue, like no one would know what this is. Like the majority of people, like say you actually go trick or treating or you go to like a party or some shit, like they don't know what this is. I mean, it's all right, reverse Google search it. I don't even know how to do that. Oh, you're saying look up Killer Queen Halloween costume. Killer Queen, Killer Queen JoJo Halloween costume. You think it shows up? It does. Yeah, you're a fucking capper. You're a fucking capper. It shows up on Google. It's on fucking Tumblr. Yeah, that was not one of my viewers. I knew that shit. I knew that you were fucking capping. Yeah, I, that shit's a fucking lie. No shot. I knew it. All right, this next one's actually pretty cool. I always think all... I think all of these costumes are always cool. The ones where it's, like, you're headless and, like, the costume actually goes past you. I like these costumes. I think they're... I think they're actually pretty creative. The confusing thing is, like, how tall it has to be over you to, to be realistic. Like, this costume only really works when you're younger. Like, this old picture. Like, this looks like it's from, like, 2010. Like, I mean, it might actually be fucking newer. It's just a shitty fucking, uh, res. But, like, if you're tall, this costume doesn't work. Like, if I tried to do this costume, it would have to be well over my head, and I would just be running into everything. But if you're actually, like, if you are a semi-average height or shorter person, it, it does work easier. Uh, but I think this costume is dope. Uh, just like, oh, I'm decapitated, my head's in a jar. Uh, but the annoying factor of this is, how are they breathing? How are they fucking breathing? How are they fucking breathing? Stop lying, Joe. You aren't that tall. All right, yeah. Let's bring out the short jokes again, even though they're fucking two years dead. Yeah, you're dying in that shit. And it's going to start fogging up, too. This is why I hate these costumes. Like, for, own, for my own personal use. Is you know when he starts breathing in that shit... He can't see anything. You start breathing. Dude, even if there's holes, you just start fogging up that shit. No shot. What? What is that? What is that? I... 
Snatching take one bowls. What does that mean? This, I don't know if this one's online. This, what does that mean? Oh! Take the whole bowl. Oh my god, we could have talked about it then. Yeah, that's actually, oh, you're like, oh, you're like a candy robber. Google says your net worth is 1.5 mil. Yeah, you know who made that article? Uh, some dumbass that makes the same fucking 45 articles about every other influencer in half a second. I am not worth that much. Eventually, I will probably be worth that much. It, like, being honest. But now I'm not near that. No. My net worth is not near 1 million. Uh, snatching 1 bulls. No. Um, especially, like, post-tax, my, my net worth is not 1.5 mil. Um, but yeah, I, what are we rating this chat? I mean, it's like, it's just a candy robber. It's a cool costume. Low effort though. Uh, cool idea. Like I, I respect the idea, but it's, eh. it's like, you're literally just wearing a mask with glasses and then you have the, the take one bowls. I don't know if this, this also looks like it's offline. It might not be though. Okay. What the fuck is this Halloween music that is playing? This is like the, the weirdest shit ever. Skip that song. Holy fuck. All right. Uh, Derpy for the 300 bits. Been here, uh, haven't been here for a few months since my mom's passing. Thank you for helping me through it and what you do, W Streamer. Uh, I'm sorry that your mom passed. I'm sorry to hear, uh, that, that you lost your mom. But, um, I mean, I'm glad that I could help in, in any way that I can. But I, I, that, that sucks that you had to go through that. I'm sorry that you had to go through that. And that you're still going through that. Nick for the sub. Uh, Lily for the 300 bits. First dono, my costume wouldn't submit, but me and my sister were dumb and dumber, and we even re decorated our Barbie keep as the mutts cuts. Oh, like the fucking, the van? Or you're saying like a room? <clears throat> like, it, what? It's a clown. It's a clown, but what clown, but what clown is this, right? Like, is this, is this a certain, it's like a clown from outer space. It's from the Killer Clowns movie. See, I've never seen that. And like, he has like, what looks like a, a knockoff Call of Duty ray gun. <laughs> the knockoff Call of Duty ray gun. Bro, like, <laughs> and where are you looking out of, like, right under the eye slots? Or are you seeing through the mouth? I mean, it's a scary costume, but it, like, in it's scary in the dark. Like, in the light, this just looks pretty fucking, <laughs> this looks pretty fucking, like, funny. It's funny, it's funny in the light. It's, yeah, if I'm walking in the night and I see this, it's terrifying. But if I'm just standing, like, in a kitchen... Like they are, and I see somebody wearing this. I'm like, it's not, it's not scary. It's the killer clowns from outer space. What movie is that? From 1988. Killer clowns from outer space. This movie looks fucking awful. This looks like the worst movie ever. This is a movie? It's a classic. Killer clowns from outer space. Dude, this all, this actually just... It, the, what is the premise of the movie? There's like an alien planet of just clowns that kill people. I feel like that is literally the definition of an 80s movie. Something that has... That makes no sense. Holy shit. Guess what movie I watched last night? For the first time ever, one of the best movies I've ever seen. For a Halloween movie. I'll narrow it down. It's from the 80s. Or the 70s. One of the two. It's scary. It's a thriller. People are saying smile. That movie just came out. Somebody said Jurassic Park. That you think Jurassic Park is a scary Halloween movie. Jurassic fucking Park. The Thing. I watched The Thing. It's a fucking great movie. It's also, like, trippy afterwards. If you were in The Thing, the, th the premise... Dude, if you've never seen The Thing, watch The Thing. The premise of the movie 
and I'm going to spoil it because it's a movie from the 80s. And if you're going to bitch out and you're going to you're going to get mad because I spoil the movie, then fuck off. The movie just came. The, the movie came out 40 fucking years ago. The thing is a movie about this like alien, right? That like crashes in this like remote place where researchers are in Antarctica, right? And the alien can kill you and then make a copy of you. But it's not you. It's it. <laughs> Does that make sense? It, like, say, say the thing comes into my room. It kills me. It then, like, removes my body and makes a copy of me. The copy of me is the thing. But it has all of my memories. So it's a fake me, right? And it knows that it's the thing, right? But it acts like it's me. And so all it does is try to spread itself to other... So it just kills and copies, kills and copies, kills and copies. And so it just basically becomes like 45 different things of itself. And what's terrifying about it is you don't know who it is. Because they look exactly the same. Like, how could I prove to you that I'm not the thing? If the thing were me, it would still look and act exactly like me. It's a mimic of you. It's literally among us. <laughs> if, if I'm being real, the thing is among us. It is, if you've ever like conceptualized what Among Us would be as a movie, it is the thing. Well, realistically, Among Us came out after, so technically Among Us is after the thing, not the thing being after Among Us. It's Among Us. There's an imposter and you don't know who it is. Or multiple imposters. Yeah, that's how the game works. Or that's how the fucking movie works. It was a good-ass movie, though. If you've never seen it, watch it. E.T. gives me nightmares. I don't know why. Bookie for the 500 bits. Uh, yeah, E.T. is pretty fucking scary. Um, but, I mean, he's a nice alien, but he just looks weird. Did E.T. give y'all nightmares? E.T. and Men in Black. Men in Black used to fucking make me shit myself, dude. Scarcore for the Thringe Bits. It's like that one SpongeBob episode where they don't like mayonnaise. Oh, you're saying that's how they would find, like, the imposter? Uh, wise for the Thringe Bits. I'm going as Walter White and my friend's getting a buzz cut and going as Jesse. Are you going bald or are you wearing a fucking bald cap? I meant, like, traditions from viewers. No, for the three. I, I don't know what traditions from viewers my viewers have for me. Uh, thank you for the three. Um, Dr. Lewis for the sub. Uh, and we're on to the next. See, like, I... I don't know my opinion on dressing as Santa Claus for... Dressing as something for another holiday... During Halloween is all... I don't know. Like, it's a good Santa costume, in all honesty. But... Dressing up as Santa Claus on Halloween, it'd be like me going as, like, the Easter Bunny. Like, it's, like, you would do that on Easter. Like, does Santa count? I mean, it's, I, I don't know. It's a good Santa costume. But that's all I could say. Like, there's not much else other than it's a Santa costume. Also, why are, why <laughs> does the costume not have shoes? Like, you're not wearing shoes. You're wearing, like, what looks like shoes, but it's actually just a part of the costume. And then it's just... And then you just don't have shoes on. See, I don't, like, I don't know if this one... I, <laughs> I don't know if this one's fake either. It's just, like, it's so low quality. It might just be an old photo. Dude, you, like, this isn't, this also is, like, the worst hot, I, I'm gonna be real. This is not, like, I mean, it's good try, but it's just, you, you took computer paper. I think the sword's actually pretty cool. The fact that you made a sword out of paper is pretty cool, but you literally just taped computer paper to your body and then cut an eye hole over paper. What is this? Paper man? Like a ninja, a, like a paper ninja? I feel like that's what this is. I mean, it's creative, but I, in actual rating of the costume, I, I mean, it's pretty low effort. Uh, Ezap for the sub. Aurelio for the bets. Joe just witnessed a kidnap 
and almost got murked. What do I do? It was my sister's friend also just bought some new shoes. They look nice. If you're saying you just witnessed a kidnapping and you're coming into my Twitch chat to ask me what to do, and then in the same sentence of asking me what to do in a kidnapping, you talk about your new shoes, is this, like, not a high-stress level fucking thing? Like, that would be... If you just witnessed a kidnapping and somebody getting killed, that would be more extreme than, hey, I'm gonna mention my new shoes that I got in the next sentence. I don't know. Like, what? what? Like, call, call the fucking police? Call the parents? What? Wise for the 300 bits. I already read that. Fuck. I don't know. Creative? Yeah. Good? Eh. That's two inch. This is two inch. Two inch. This costume sucks. If they let it, this, when did you make this? This is this is a nice costume. This is ten out of ten. It's the best one. Best one thus far. Best one thus far. I I think dressing dogs up in Halloween costumes is the cutest thing in the world, but they fucking hate it. Dogs fucking hate being dressed up, but it's like. The funniest thing ever. Especially when you get a dog like a funny-ass costume like this. And it's just like them as a cowboy. Or you get your dog dressed up as like a person and they wear a suit. Like that's fucking hilarious. It's the best. Mr. Frank! For the five fucking gifted subs. Dubs in the chat. Thank you for the fucking five gifteds, Mr. Frank WW. Uh, thank them if you got a sub. And thank you for the five gifteds. Uh, Thigh for the sub. Thoughts on mullets. Uh, you have to be able to rock it. To be able to rock a good mullet, you have to have somewhat wavy or curly hair. If you have very straight hair, a mullet is not for you. Uh, unless you get, like, a perm. But don't get a perm so you can get a mullet. Like, that's too many steps. Uh, but I, I like this costume. This is the best costume thus far. See, is this- this is another anime- wait, is this anime or is that Cobra Kai? Is this Cobra Kai? I've never seen Cobra Kai. Who is this in... Co is this just Cobra Kai? Mid-show? See, I've never watched it. It's one of those shows... See, this is why I don't get this Halloween costume. Because I've never seen the show. And I... I like, and I'm gonna... This is a rough take. But if a show's really popular and everybody's watching it, like when Cobra Kai was the shit, I just refuse to watch it. Because what... Like, it's annoying. It gets annoying. I don't want to be a part of, like, that annoyingness. I'm not saying you're annoying, by the way, for dressing up as Cobra Kai. Respectable costume. It's a decent fucking Cobra Kai fit. I assume I've never seen the show. But, like, when shit like Stranger Things or even Squid Games. I watch Squid Games at the end of it. But, like, when any, whenever any of those sh shows come out and everybody just nonstop talks about it, it makes me not want to watch the show because it's fucking annoying. Um, but I usually break down and I end up watching the show at some point. I do think I'll watch Cobra Kai eventually, but, I mean, this is a good costume for my knowledge of what Cobra Kai would look like. See, here here's the Cookie Monster is a good is is good, but Big Bird looks um like a serial killer. And <laughs> I I don't know why that is. It might be the eyes are too far out, but like this is a good Cookie Monster, right? Like if I saw this cookie, you remove Big Bird, the Cookie Monster isn't scary. But, like, like, Big Bird is terrifying here. I literally think it's just the eyes. I think the eyes are just so fucked. And I don't know what about the eyes. I think they're too far out. Like, you gotta push them in. And then they're not as scary. They're flipping us off. I don't think they're flipping us off. Yeah, they're poking out of their head. Like, this one, it's obvious that they're gonna be out of their head because it's on top of their head. But, like, this one, they're bulging. You just gotta move the eyes in. That it's not as fucking scary. But I mean, they're a good costume. I mean, this is clearly an old picture. But like... When you were, whoever, whoever this chatter is of mine, 
did you watch and understand Breaking Bad at this age? Like, were you like, yeah, I'm dressing up as a meth cook. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine going to your, like, third grade class or some shit. You're just dressed up as fucking Walter White. It's a Google image. Is it really? Bro, y'all got to stop fucking submitting Google images. I'm Googling it. Walter White kid costume. It's a fucking Google image! It's, it's a new costume. Wait, it's a fucking Google image. You ass hats. You guys stop. You gotta fucking submit your own costumes. Why are the best costumes the ones from fucking Google? This is literally a kid holding meth. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? This is a kid holding fake meth. Dressed up as Walter White. Oh my god. Why are there so many kids that dress up as Walter White? I feel like that's not... You're dressing up as a meth cook. The parents are probably like, yeah, we're going to dress up because it's fucking Walter White and Jesse. It's going to be great. All right. Maybe this this one looks not Googled. I don't know why they would Google this. This is like the, the plague doctor type shit. This is a good costume. This is a good... Regardless of it being on Google or not, this is a good costume. I think this pick here is fire as shit. Like, the big-ass buildings in the back, the fucking plague mask. This is a valid costume. This is a valid costume. I don't know if this one's Googled. I don't think this one would be Googled. Because this looks, like, pretty feasibly done. Scarcore for the three inch This is Breaking Bad, except they tried the product. <laughs> one for the sub and for the sub. Plata for the three inch bets. Low for the three inch bets. Your mod came up with a fantastic idea, Dress Up Daisy. Pie for the sub, hoodie for the sub, Azula for the fridge bits. My friend and I saw a house with a big bucket of candy and we took the whole bucket and the people that lived there put us on the local neighborhood watch app with a picture of us because you took the candy. What, they were panicking? Amazon for the sub. Uh, what would I dress up my dog as? It is Googled. Why would they Google this? See, like, I understand somebody Googling the plague, uh, or not the plague, the, the Heisenberg one, but I don't think they Googled that. Plague doctor costume. Yeah, it's not Googled. Like, that's a genuine costume. Respectable. That's a good viewer costume, if that's real, which I assume it is. Um, all right. Next. I rock with the hazmat fit. The, the one thing that I'll say is, if you're going anywhere in this, it's, it's going to be sweating like you're going you're you're sweating your ass off in that no no doubt but this, this costume is actually sick especially with the backpack you show up to school in that though people are think you're gonna people are <laughs> you show up you show up to school in this i don't know how people are gonna think that day is gonna pan out I, like they might think that you're gonna be uh up to something uh, no good maybe uh holding a weapon in your in your bag or some shit I'm not saying you would. I'm saying this costume is actually fire. But, like, if you just showed up to school in this, people might be a little bit scared. I like the costume, though. I, I feel like it's it's very hard to breathe in that. I feel like... But that looks like a genuine, real... I mean, it might be fake, but that actually looks like a real hazmat mask. Which, if it is, that's even cooler. I I think these are overrated costumes. I I mean this one's pretty funny because it's a fucking big ass bear, but this one is this one is overrated, or not not this one, but inflatable costumes are in my opinion the most annoying costumes in the world. The Dino costume is overdone every year. Last year I actually bought a Patrick inflatable. And, bro, they're, like, it's, like, $80 for one of these fucking costumes. And they break so fast. Because all for this to work, you have to nonstop have a fan blowing air so you stay inflated. And once that goes, you just, the costume's done. Like, you can't use it anymore. Uh, and so I just, I don't, I don't know why they make the fucking, the cheap-ass fan for, like, a $90 fucking costume. Cyclops for the 500 bets. 
I bought a thousand bits with my lunch money for the week because you're a W. Uh, please don't spend your lunch money on me. Thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, for the love of God, get lunch instead of fucking giving me bits. I would much rather have you do that. See, this one, this one makes me think this is Google. Hold up. This next one. It might not be, actually. I mean, if it's not Googled, it's actually pretty funny. It's the Duck Dynasty. The Duck Dynasty fucking TV show. They're all dressed up as the fucking uh, main characters. Stop Googling them. I'm Googling to see... I'm Googling to see if they're real. Like, if it's actually a chatter of mine. It looks like something off of Facebook. Well, just because it looks like something off of Facebook doesn't mean it could have been one of my chatters. <laughs> Not funny. I mean, I don't think it's a funny costume, but it is, it's unique, especially if you get like, it's like you're like a bunch of parents get all their kids together to just actually dress up as Duck Dynasty people. That's pretty funny. Like, <laughs> dude, see, I, like, I don't want to believe, like, I mean, I, actually, off rip, W fucking shirt, the fucking Deku shirt, but, like, dressed up as JoJo the Mofo. <laughs> Bro, somebody's gotta send this to him. Somebody's gotta send this to him. Bro, this is a, this is not, I feel like this, is, I, this, I don't think it's off of Google, but like you're definitely you definitely just took this picture of yourself and you were just like, yeah, I'm gonna say I'm Jojo. But you, like you didn't actually try to dress up as him. He doesn't wear this shirt. Does he wear glasses? I don't know if Jojo wears glasses. Dude, now that I think about it, I'm gonna go on Jojo's stream. Does Jojo wear glasses? He is wearing glasses. Dude, how did I not know that? It's like, I've, I look at him all the time. I just never think about his glasses. No, but that does I don't know. How much does that actually look like JoJo? Like, not... Ugh, like, not really. Like, it, it, it... I mean, you have, like, the glasses going and the curly hair. But, like, that's it. Like, I... Send it to JoJo. Should I, should I tell him to come fucking look at my stream real quick? I don't want to annoy him. That's, like, that's like annoying. If he comes, if he pops in at some point, I'll, I'll tell. I'll, I'll, he'll, somebody will clip it and send it to him at some point. Raj for the sub. Wise for the fucking 300 bits. Cyclops for the 500 bits. Food, wait, let me look up a side-by-side -side of JoJo. JoJo the mofo. I mean, maybe. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. All right, here's JoJo. Here's JoJo, right? And then here's another picture of JoJo. And then here's the Halloween costume of JoJo. This is a YouTuber? See, yeah, that's why I'm like, this is it. This shit ain't real. This shit ain't real. Who somebody sent this in the Discord because they think they look like JoJo. <laughs> and and then said I dressed up as JoJo. Why? Like I like what? Who's what YouTuber is this? Average MHA watcher. I watch MHA. JoJo's calling me. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Yeah. I no, I don't. I didn't say you look like this. I don't know who this is, right? Look, 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 look. I'm playing Call of Duty. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Thinking, man, bro, maybe he's twerking. Maybe you know, like, there's something I want to see. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? He looks nothing, bro. Is this for your Discord? What is no, this? No, I okay. Well, I was getting my, <laughs> I was getting my viewers to send like their Halloween costumes, 
And I think this, I don't think this is actually one of my chatters, but I think they pulled up a picture of somebody and then said that they were dressing up as you. No, I said it didn't look like you. I said it didn't. I, dude, you could. I, I said I was like the glasses and the curly hair, maybe, but like, the rest. What do you mean? We, the, the, our glasses are so different. Our hair is. The, what do you mean? Well, I'm, I'm saying, well, you have curly hair. He has curly hair. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> no, but like that's it. Like, uh, the actual facial structure does it. Well, I mean, also, do you watch, like, do you have that shirt? No, I don't want to tell you like anime like that. That thing, do the pose, it do look like you. I mean, just, like, if you could go, like, if you could do the up-angled, like, like, the pose. Wait, hold up. I'm going to pull up your stream. <laughs> bro, laughing too hard, y'all. You hear him giggling over there, bro? <laughs> you hear him it. giggling? All right, here. Hold on, bro. All right, do it. All right, hold on. All right, hold on. I'm about to do it. Wait, wait, wait. What's the pose again, chat? Like, bro was like... Yeah, nah, it don't, it don't look like you. Like I'll that? I'll admit that it don't look like yeah, you. Nah, it, don't, it don't look like you. Right! That it don't look like you. Right, bro. Right, bro. So true. All right, all right, that's fair. That's fair. What were you saying? What's your chat saying now, bro? Are they still on ball? They're saying, can we get a side by side? There, <laughs> I, I even don't even think a side by side. The the facial structure just isn't the same. Very true. Very true, Joe. Yeah, like that. Don't look like you. Not even close. <laughs> not even close to me. Actually. Like, I'm looking at it, not even Yeah, he don't got a jawline. Thank you. Hey Mark Jojo. Okay. Yeah. Well you know what, Joe? Hey man. Have a great stream. Yeah, okay. Hey, man, we got a game very soon. So All right. Play Call of Duty. All right, for sure. Let me know. Alright, bro. Much love to you, man. I'll holler at you later. Yep. <laughs> right now it don't look like him though. I will say, like, it's funny to say it. But, like, it don't look like him. Uh, all right. All right. Now, that, that was actually... That's funny as shit. That was funny as shit. It kind of does. <laughs> actually, that's funny as shit. That's, that's funny, funny, right? You son of a... <laughs> he fucking tabbed out. Oh, I'm dude, I interrupted his call funny, of duty. Right? It's funny to say it, right? You know what? Uh, oh, buddy. Uh, you know what, Chet? You know what, Chet? Joe's right. gonna get it, buddy. Hey, the moment that I see any Caucasian man that has any similarity to Joe whatsoever, I'm on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on his ass, buddy. I'm on his goddamn ass. All right, yeah, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. We'll go to the next one. We'll go to the next one. I just want to say I'm a proud Cruz supporter, says Gabby for the 500 bets. Thank you. Uh, and BQB for the, the sub. And Gabby for another 1,000 bets. Damn. I didn't even see that. Naha Kobo for the sub phase and JD for the sub. Cyclops for the 500 bets. Food is nothing. Joe is better. Uh, no. Still don't spend your lunch money on bits. Raj for the sub. Wise for the 300 bets. Um, and I think we're caught up. All right. Let's go to the uh, next one. Nah. What is this? This is off of Google. Why did you? This is this is so clearly off of Google. This is literally a Google image. This is not real. This is this is like a PNG that they like one of those stock image photos. Wreck it, Ralph. Yeah, that's fucking fake. Okay, this one might be.
A fucking piano? Who? Who's, who's like, oh, what are you being for Halloween this year? I'm going to be a piano. I'm going to be an instrument. Who does that? Who does that? Regardless of whether or not it's a chatter. Who is who is dressing up as like a guitar or a piano? Like when when does that idea like, oh shit, yeah, let me just like actually cut out a whole piano shaped cardboard like piece and wear it. I would be worried I would just break it. Like the second I fucking sat down. It's funny as shit though. If it was playable, that would be hilarious. Like just like a portable keyboard that they could actually play on. I don't, I don't see a, why did you add, yeah, where's the, dude, I didn't see a costume. Cruz, why, why is there a blank slide? <laughs> I can't even, I can't even pull that shit off. Nah, that would be funny as fuck. If it was like actually that, like, sorry, 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 the blank slide didn't mean, didn't mean for that to be here. Everybody's just dressed up in ghillie suits. I mean, the guy on the swing's actually kind of fucking scary. The dude that's kind of just, like, menacingly sitting there. Everybody else is kind of, like, covered looking at the camera. He's just staring at the ground in the fucking ghillie suit. Imagine you walk by him in the middle of the night. I'd be like, holy shit. Uh, Jazz for the Thringe Bits. Says bits is better than lunch. Okay, no. No, it is not. I had to explain that joke to Joe. Dude, because you had a fucking... They had a text box. Crucible had a text box that said, remove, there's a blank photo next. I was like, that doesn't make sense. And he was like, it's because they're wearing, like, ghillie suits. I was like, oh. See, like, I feel like you didn't dress up as this. I feel like you think I look like Crimson Chin. I feel like you think I look like Crimson Chin. And you fucking, and you fucking Googled Crimson Chin outfit. Maybe you didn't. Oh my god, maybe they didn't. Maybe they actually just dressed up as the Crimson Chin. See, I thought this was supposed to be a diss at me. You actually just dressed up as the Crimson Chin. I mean... It's not that bad of a Crimson Chin outfit. For being like a homemade costume that you really can't even have a store-bought version of. You have the chin down. It looks like you're holding it up, though, to where, like, it won't work. Phoenix for the 666. Not Google. It's me in the Crimson Chin costume. No kids at all knew who I was. And the costume was a pain. But, like, what made you want to dress up as the... Like, I respect the Crimson Chin choice, right? But, like, what made you, when you were a kid, be like, yeah, I'm going to dress up as Crimson Chin? Did you just, like, look up to Crimson Chin? It's a good idea. I think it's a W costume as well. It just looks kind of hard to, to do. And then this also looks like painful that it has to sit there. And kind of impractical in maneuvering around like a house. I think this is the best costume thus far. These are some good costumes. Todd Wolf for the 5,000 fucking bits! Goddamn dub in the chat. Goddamn dub in the chat. 5k fucking biddies. You are a fucking beast, dude. Oh my god. 5,000 fucking bits. Dub in the chat. Dub in the chat for fucking Todd Wolf. And Phoenix Fireman. This is Phoenix Fireman. This is Phoenix Fireman's costume. Of Crimson Chin. I respect it. I respect the costume. I think it's my favorite thus far. It's unique. And you actually tried. You like painted out the box and everything. It's a good costume. Uh, and thank you, Tonbull, for the 5,000 fucking bitties. You have to be on the bit leaderboard. You're not? Oh my god, dude. I feel like you give me bits all the fucking time. Tonbull for the 5,000 bits. You are a fucking beast. Thank you. The Stormtrooper suit... And then just a regular Stormtrooper? 
What are they holding? Like a blaster? I actually like the I like the formal stormtrooper. I think that's actually a pretty like a pretty cool costume. Just like a full suit fit with just the stormtrooper top. That's actually pretty drippy. A sand trooper. My bad, not a stormtrooper. 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 Snazzy stormtrooper. And then the fucking sand. Uh, the, the sand trooper. I like both. I actually think. I'm assuming my chatter is this one. Because this looks like an actual, like, professional costume. Uh, regardless, both are actually pretty cool. I respect that. I, I think this is a W costume. Uh, a cheetah for the five inch bets. I don't know where this is. This looks like some convention. Um, but I respect the costume. W costume. Like, you were a kid, and you were like, yeah, Avatar's the shit. Let me get a bald cap and paint an arrow on my head. <laughs> let me get a, let me get a, let me get a bald cap and paint, and paint the arrow. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like, dude, I feel like you can't make the Avatar, you can't make Avatar The Last Airbender look good, no matter what you do. Let me actually look up Avatar The Last Airbender costume like every costume of the avatar last airbender probably looks really bad like actually probably looks really fucking bad yeah like they all look trash hold up let me pull up one like this is just garbage whatever fucking family like whatever fam this is garbage this is actually bro you just painted an arrow on his fucking head that is clearly a fake flame with just red makeup. That is literally just you're you're not even wearing anything. The water bender do the like you can't you can't dress up as Avatar the Last Airbender any of them without looking dumb. Actually, uh maybe this one. And uh, no, even this one. And this is like cosplayers. Like is I feel like this is the best you could get for like any of the Avatar Last Airbenders. But like like, even the cosplayers, it's kind of looking eh. I mean, it looks good, or it looks better, but even so. Like, so you, there's some, there's some like, animations and, like, just shows in general, like Avatar The Last Airbender, where it's kind of hard to copy them. And so... I mean, I dude, I'm, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a good rating. This is a, you tried, you tried. You tried, I respect it. I respect it. It's just the bald cap for me, dude. It's just, it's so clearly a bald cap. It's not, it doesn't even match the shade of your, of like the rest of your skin. It's just, it's like a gray bald cap and just a massive marker arrow. Is it just a claw machine? See, how do you move? How do you... How, how, how do you move in this? It's a cool-ass costume. Like, just got... Like, you actually went as an entire claw machine. That's actually pretty fucking cool. But, like, you're not... You're not getting your arms out of this. How are you moving in the costume? And can you get out of it? Like, if you're a part of this and you can't... Like, when you leave, the costume's done... What, like, what, like, uh, what if you have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> like, you have to get out of the costume. Yeah, you gotta lift the whole thing up. It's probably, in all honesty, it's probably just a square box, and they can, like, pick it up like Fred Flintstone and just walk with it. Like, I'm assuming that's how it works. There's just no bottom, and that's, like, where they stand. But even so, that's very hard to move around in. There are straps inside of the claw machine that help me carry it. Okay. So that's what it is. It's, it's bottomless, and you're probably holding, like, bars or straps to where you can, like, maneuver. But I just feel like... Dude, I feel like this is a dope costume, but after, like, 30 minutes of wearing it, I'm gonna be like, bro, get me the fuck out of this. 
Like, like I'm going to actually start getting mad. MRX for the sub. Just a Kool-Aid, just the Kool-Aid shirt. See, I feel like this one's also on Google. I feel like this one is also Google. Kool-Aid man outfit. Kool-Aid man costume. It's literally just the shirt. It's a pretty easy costume to do. Dude, it keeps, t it keeps trying to get me to buy a fucking costume. I'm not buying a cool... Yeah, it's off Google. You fucking capper. It's on Pinterest. Who the fuck uses Pinterest? You found that on Pinterest. That's not even one of my fucking viewers. Oh my god. All right, next. What is this? And where where are you standing? Cuz these are all like 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 metal poles. How do you move? It's on stilts. You have to walk on stilts. I mean, this looks like the most uncomfortable costume ever. But th if you're going for scary, this is actually pretty fucking terrifying. Like, middle of the night, you're, like, like walking on those stilts. Bro's the one who knock. Or bro is the one who knocks. Dude, the teeth? Yeah, no, this is a good costume. My thing is just how the fuck do you move? Like, where, like, is this your face? How are you seeing? You're, like, slouched over. Oh, wait, no. This is what it is. They're standing on, on two stilts. It's four stilts. They're standing on two, and then the other two, they have to, like, walk on with their arms. Dude, what if you face plant? Oh, my God. I mean, that's a good-ass costume, though. Okay. What is this from? Is that Guy Fieri? No. What movie is that from? Walter Blanco? It's the Apple Pen guy. Oh, shit! Wait, Ali G? Who the fuck is Al- Is Ali G the Apple Pen guy? Who is Ali G? No, it's not Al- Who the fuck is Ali G? You know what you said, Guy Fieri? It's the beard, though. Ali G from the Minions from Despicable Me. Who the fuck is Ali G from Despicable Me? It's not Ali, dude, it's 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 the dude that plays fucking Borat. It's this guy. It's fucking Ali G in the house. It's what's his name? Oh my god, he's such a good actor. Yeah, what you motherfucker saying Despicable Me? What do you mean, despicable me? Oh, his actual name is Ali. No, his actual name is what? Yeah, it's Sasha something. Sasha Barra Cohen. Yeah, that's his fucking name. You're Ali G from the movie, though. I haven't seen that movie. Is that a good movie? I mean, it's a good costume. I thought that shit was Guy Fieri. Dude, it's the beard. The beard, I thought... Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm not going to be able to convince my chat this looks like Guy Fieri. Back for the sub, Sasha, or Sha, or Sasha, for the sub. Um, and I already read Turtles bits. It doesn't look, that's not Vector. Y'all thought this was Vector from the Minions? From Despicable Me. Chat. Is that, is that actually supposed to be Vector? That's not Vector. It's, he wears an orange suit. Vector looks nothing like that, and he wears glasses. Oh my god, he is wearing glasses. No, it's it's not. It's not Vector. It's not Vector. It's Ali G. It's so clearly Ali G. Okay, move on. No help. The voices are loud. Stop. No. Why? Dude, I feel like this one is definitely not a chatter, and it's from Google, just because this is so out, like outlandish. But, like, this is the weirdest costume ever. 
A minion bleeding from the eyes with a fucking trash bag costume. And you just put blood and no help. It, it, is a, it is a chatter. A chatter actually fucking dressed up as this. This was your Halloween costume before? Like, when is this from? Oh my god. One of my chatters actually dressed up as this. I see the spider on the side there, too. Yeah, that's kind of fucking scaring me. Is that a real spider? No help. The voices are loud. Dude, if you walked around in public with this... Dude, kids would cry. Kids would cry. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Joe, where can I watch your Detroit Becomes Human series? I don't know. Uh, I mean, those VODs are gone. Uh, I have not seen those in... When did I even play Detroit Becomes Human? Um. All right, next. Oh, my God. What is that shit in the back? Didn't we just watch one of those fucking things? Or we just saw one of the costumes? This is supposed to be that, uh, what's his name? Oh my god. That's Killer Queen, but who the fuck is this? The dude, Joe Exotic, from that fucking documentary. Got any damn tigers. Holy shit. No shot you dress up as Joe Exotic. We haven't seen any Jeffrey Dahmers yet. You think we're gonna see a Jeffrey Dahmer? If somebody dresses up as Jeffrey Dahmer, bro, it's so over. It's so over. I mean, that's a decent Joe Exotic costume. The hair is good. I don't know why Killer Queen's in the back, though. That makes no... That literally makes no sense. What is this? It's a, a chipmunk. But then what are they? Are you like... Are you, like, the Riddler or some shit? The Joker? The Joker? That's not the joke. I mean, maybe the costume. Purple Man from FNAF? It's JoJo as a kid. Oh, stop. <laughs> nah, bro. That doesn't look like JoJo. That literally doesn't look like JoJo. Now you're just saying everything looks like JoJo. That's a, that's not JoJo, bro. Come on. That doesn't even that, that doesn't even look like him. That looks like JoJo when he was younger. What if JoJo actually submitted his costume? I mean, this looks like an old picture. What if JoJo actually submitted his costume? It's not. That's not him. Ah. What is this? Oh, that's a fucking Fortnite character. What, what is the name of this character from Fortnite? Oh my god. I was like, why does that look familiar? I was like, why does this... I was like, is this like fucking Teletubbies or some shit? It's Guff from Fortnite. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fucking Guff. Dude. I don't know. I mean, it's a decent costume, but it's just like... Have y'all ever... Have y'all been to a Spirit Halloween this year? Be real. I haven't gone this year. I'm actually probably going to go to a Spirit Halloween in like two days or some shit. Uh, just to get some extra shit for the Cheech and Chong costume and the Jason costume. But, um, chat. If you've been to a Spirit Halloween, like last year I went. They have a wall of just Fortnite. A wall of the llama costume. The, the fucking skeleton costume. It's just a, a f every fuck... Dude, you could literally get any fucking Fortnite skin at fucking Spirit Halloween. And they have every one. I don't know why, but they do. My last... My last time giving you bits, I need to eat tomorrow. Gabby, stop... You, stop giving bits. You don't need to give bits. Thank you for the fucking bits. Thank you for the 300 bits. And all the bits previously. But yeah, uh, food is always more important than fucking giving a streamer bits. Death for the 300 bits. Uh, and Scarcore for the Rich Bits. I went to a Spirit Halloween last week and I got COVID. Ah, from the sub. You got it. You got COVID from a Spirit Halloween. Damn, that sucks. That sucks. 
Oh my god, you walk into a Spirit Halloween. Oh, this is gonna be a nice time. I'm gonna buy my costume. And somebody coughs on you. Yeah, you could get any costume at Spirit Halloween that's just Fortnite. Renegade Raider, any of them. I mean, like, we can't actually... Ugh, I, that's cool. I mean, it's cool, but it, it it's only cool in the night. During At nighttime, this would be actually a pretty dope costume. I'm assuming you're wearing, like, a black morph suit. Um, and then you're just wearing the, the LED, like, strips over it that are glowing, which is actually pretty cool. Do y'all remember the morph suit phase, though? When everybody only went as morph suits? Hold up. Like, when I was, when I, I stopped trick-or-treating when I was in sixth grade, right? Um, I don't know what year that was, but it, whenever I was in middle school, the fucking, the hype. The fucking hype was, like, morph suits. And I remember my whole class went as, like, my whole middle school class went, like, all the guys were going as, like, different colored morph suits. And I just went as, like, a clown or some shit. And I remember being like, damn, bro, like, I'm left out. Like, but I don't know why everybody thought morph suits were so cool. Because it's literally, it's literally just, it's just one thing. You're just a color. You're not, you're not even a costume. You're just wearing a fucking suit. But they were like the shit. And everybody, like the last three years I went trick-or-treating. Like fourth grade to sixth grade. Everybody just wore those. And that was it. Gold for the fridge bits. I wish you stuck with Spider-Man when I was five years old. I was Spider-Man for three years in a row. One of my friends has gone as Spider-Man to a Halloween party every year for six years. He has been Spider-Man every fucking year. And I'm dying to see if he goes as Spider-Man this year to make it number seven. Just like, chat, could you go as, could you go as the same costume every year? Like, I could, I could like feasibly wear a costume twice, like two years in a row. And then after that, I would be like, bro, I gotta, I gotta fucking change it. Plain old suits? Yes. This is a good costume though. Yo! Oh my god! Yo, Dipper from fucking Gravity Falls. W costume. W costume. Bro, I got the fucking tat. I got the fucking that lit Bro, I didn't get it for I didn't get it for Gravity Falls. I have a bunch of reasons on why I wanted a question mark tattoo. But the question mark design I literally settled on was the fucking Gravity Falls one. Like that's dead ass the Gravity Falls question mark. I fucking love Gravity Falls. Fucking love it. That's a good costume. And the fact that you got the book, how did you even get the book? Or did you make make it look like that yourself? That's a pretty fucking dope costume though. Bro, should I have gone as fucking Dipper? Bro, I, nah, I don't look like Dipper, though. I look nothing like Dipper. But I love Gravity Falls. I should have done that. That would have been sick. They sell the books? Oh, damn. They Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, they do. Because when, like, Gravity Falls was still going, they had, like, all the lore with that and shit. Gains for the sub. That's a good costume. Oh, this is that shit from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. I just don't like, like, we watched those. They're, like, disturbing, but Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared is just not scary. Like, it's not, it's not scary. That's me. That's Scuff Tuna. It's a good costume. Like, you look like the dude from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. But, like, I just never, like, when we were watching them, like, I used to think they were scary in middle school, but now it's just, like, disturbing. You've never seen Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? It, it's basically like a popular YouTube series of just like these creepy ass like fucking short stories with characters and one of them is this. It was fun to make it. Oh yeah, I bet. I mean, that's actually a dope costume. But I mean, it, the, the scare factor is not much. It's more so a cool costume. What game is this from? I'm assuming this is from a video game. What is this from? Overwatch? What Overwatch characters are they? See, I don't, I've never played Overwatch. My chat knows that. I, I don't know who they are. They're Overwatch characters. Okay, so someone's holding a bow and one of them's holding a gun. Hanzo and Anna? Should I pull up like a side-by-side -side of what they actually look like? Because I've never seen either of them. Hanzo and Anna. 
Overwatch. They probably they probably don't have the same character in one. Oh yeah, no, they do. Wow. Okay, no, they kind of got it down. They kind of got it down. They kind of got it down. That's decent. That's decent. That's a decent comparison. They got the weapons down for sure. How they're holding the gun. That's a good costume. I think that's unique. This is the first gaming one. The first real gaming one other than like fucking Sarah's. Uh, wait, was it Sarah's? One of my mods fucking old stampy costumes from fucking Minecraft. Gains for the sub. See, this is... Oh, shit. This is dope. Like, this is a actually... Like, this is amazing. How, how fucking... It, this looks homemade. Like, genuinely homemade. They lo It looks like they went thrifting for everything. Just the full-on plague fit. The mask is insane. That's a good costume. That is a good costume. Um, I always respect homemade costumes. Because when you buy... Like, if you go to, like, Spirit Halloween and shit like that... Like, they have, like, some good costumes for, like, video games and shit. But if you're actually trying to be, like, something, like, genuine, making it yourself always looks better. Because I don't know what the fuck it is, but they always fuck up the, the, the proportions. Am I wrong? Y'all remember Squid Games? Oh, my God. Dude, when people were dressing up as Squid, squid Games Halloween costume... Dude, when people were dressing up the fucking Squid Games, like, dude, the proportions of the masks were just so fucking stupid. Like, look at this shit. Like, this just looks off. I mean, those were homemade, so that's just a bad homemade costume, actually. Let me actually find the fucking store-bought ones. Squid Game Halloween costume mask. The masks look so fucking dumb. They never match. I just remember seeing people dress up as that shit like this. It's just like all the squares. Hold up. All the squares. Like, this is what it's actually supposed to look like. Like, from the actual show. It's like it's like a decent proportion of like, oh, it's actually covering your face. But then when actually, like, people dress up as it, it's like they fuck it up. And then they sell you something like that. Like, that just looks dumb. And it's not even even. It's fucking diagonal. It's just, like, some lazy factory printed bullshit. So, like, when you actually do the... Like, when you spend the time and you do the costume yourself, it always looks more real. Because when you go to, like, Spirit Halloween or you buy something for, like, a video game or some shit, it always looks worse. Or not for a video game, but for other shit. So, I respect that. This is, like, a, a good homemade costume. Gains for the sub. It's supposed to be like that? No, it's not. The, the, square, the squares do not look like that. Square squid game costume the square is much larger the square is much larger on their face look at that this is from this is from the the fucking show itself the square covers their whole fucking head in the costume itself it was like this big it like it, you don't notice it that much when you actually just look at the mask but when it comes in in person and you buy it it'll look so stupid so I just think, like, those costumes, you should just make yourself. All right, next. This is just, like, a, a trooper of some sorts. This looks dope. Are they supposed to be any specific character? It kind of just looks like a SWAT team member or some shit. Maybe something from, like, Rainbow Six. I think it's cool. You can't bring that weapon to school. Well, yeah, but he could still come as everything else. Just because you're really rating on the you're really rating the costume as oh yeah he can't bring that to school he could still wear the whole costume yeah no shot you're allowed to go out like that though uh, I mean you could walk you could walk around in that but if you're like trick or treating and you're holding that gun somebody's gonna fucking do something like somebody's gonna tackle you or the police are gonna say something like because that looks like a real gun I I'm assuming it's an airsoft gun but that looks like a real gun it's a good costume though. That is a good costume. That is actually, like, a pretty cool fucking Spider-Man fit. That is actually a fucking sick Spider-Man fit. Is that store-bought? Because I most Spider-Man costumes just look like the fucking cringy-ass Tobey Maguire one. Like, that's actually a fucking dope-ass fit. Same with the mask. Like, the eyes just look cool. 
I mean, that actually works. That is a decent, that is the best Spider-Man costume store-bought that I've seen. It's Miles? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's still Spider-Man, though. Well, even, even if it's Miles Morales, you can still call it Spider-Man. He's a man who it has the powers of a spider. That's not reserved to fucking Tom Holland or any of the other Spider-Mans. That's a good, that's a good Miles Morales Spider-Man costume. It is. See this one? <laughs> See, okay, we're going to go over this one first and then we'll go to the next one. This one, this one is like, I don't know. Why is it yellow? Is, is, is there, what Spider-Man is yellow? Is this just Venom? Spider-Man the Aki way? It's, that's what it's supposed to be? It's the Bronx Spider-Man. It's supposed to be Spider-Man with a New York Yankees hat. I mean, that is a cool idea. But if you were just going just straight up to look like Spider-Man, it would not be that good. He's different suits. Yeah, but I mean, like, this is Tom Holland No Way Home, but when has he ever had the yellow suit? Tom Holland No Way Home had the yellow suit? I don't remember that. Staten Island Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man yurt. <laughs> I mean, it's good. It's a good fit. It's a good fit. It's a good fit. I'll, 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 that, that's a good costume, especially with the jacket and everything. All right. What is this? I, like, you need to tell, it because right now it just looks like you're wearing an inflatable suit with a top hat. You're the Monopoly man? This is not the Monopoly man. This is not the Monopoly man. Is that JoJo the Mofo? Okay, you can't say everything just looks like JoJo the Mofo. That's not how, like, the, the one time we were like, oh yeah, maybe, is because the guy was supposed to be acting like JoJo the Mofo. This is Gideon from Gravity Falls. Yeah, no, it's not. No, it's not. If that's Gideon from Gravity Falls, you need that. The only thing I would did he always have a top hat on? You need the hair. If that's Gideon from Gravity Falls, that is actually pretty decent. That is actually a pretty decent costume. Hold up. Gideon Gravity Falls. Does he wear that top hat? I've never seen him. He doesn't wear a top hat. That's not Gideon from Gravity Falls, chat. There's no pictures of Gideon wearing a... Oh, wait, no, he does. He wears this. This, yeah, but like that's not an accurate. I don't know. I mean, that's Gideon. That's Gideon from Gravity Falls, but he doesn't normally wear costumes like that. I mean, that's a good. Ugh. I I don't know. It's decent. It's just the blow up costumes. I don't like blow up costumes. I think they're funny, but they're always just like you can't do anything in them because the second you fucking move, it breaks. D4C for the 500 bits. My friend just asked if I would date her. What should I say? Whatever you want to say. I don't know. Do you want to date her? I Like, how would I give you accurate advice if I don't know what you want to do? Duck for the sub. Salt for the 300 bits. Uh, just say what you want to say. You should play an, uh, you should play I'm on Observation Duty 5. It's a fun small horror game on Steam where you look through security cameras to find anomalies. Is it like fucking FNAF? Because that sounds like FNAF. I'll write it down, though. I'm on observation duty. I'll write it down. Zelks for the sub. All right, next. We got a, we got a staple here. We have Paul Blart Mall Cop. Um, decent, decent, decent fit. It's pretty easy to pull off. I think he pulled it off well. You got the hair to make it work. You got the mustache. You got the badge. You got the button down. The the fucking tie. The walkie-talkie looks fake. I would the, That would be the only thing I would change. If you had a segue to go with it, that would have completed it. If you somehow owned a fucking segue and you were just standing on a segue, that would be the ultimate Paul Blart fit, but I do respect it. A pea shooter from fucking Plants vs. Zombies. Um, I don't know why. I I don't know why you would want to go as that, but I respect it. I respect it. It's a pea shooter. I think that's unique. 
I've never wanted to dress up as a fucking Plants vs. Zombies thing, but this is a good fit. I... <laughs> Rose got the whole green fit on. Oh, my God. I got a cough here. Hold up. <laughs> Get that shit out of my fucking mouth. Um, Pea Shooter. Decent. W Childhood Game. Uh, nostalgic. I like the fit. Uh, it's pretty accurate. You can't really, you can't really be a pea shooter other than this. This is the, the extent that you could go to. I can't really say much about it. Tester for the three. Could he listen to Money for Nothing by Dying Straits? It's a great rock song. I learned how to, pl to play it on the guitar. You would love it. No, not right now. Because then it would get copyrighted and I am trying to do this for a YouTube video. Slide for the five. Uh, you see my dripped out Spider-Man fit wearing the black and yellow fit with, with Yankee hat and shit. Been stuck at work so I haven't been able to, to watch a fair bit of stream. Yes. I asked what it was. I already looked at your your fucking hold up, right here. Yes, I looked at it. I was confused, but I do I do think it's a, a fucking creative costume. All right, next. Oh brother, here we go. Okay, this is the first Jeffrey Dahmer costume. That you don't look like Jeffrey Dahmer. You're you're like I didn't. Mexican Dahmer is what they've titled it. Okay. There's the first one. I, I don't think we're going to see many. I don't think we're going to see many. I think this might be the only one. I, 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 I presume I will see more in person when I go to, like, a Halloween party. I think I'll see people dressed up as Jeffrey. But I, I just don't. I, why dress up as Jeffrey? It's a fucking serial killer. Why would you dress up as Jeffrey Dahmer? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, and you're just, it's, it, it's such an easy costume to do, too, which is why I know so many people are going to do it. Because this, this is the fit. That's all you have to wear. To, to be Jeffrey Dahmer, you just wear, you wear the jeans, pants, uh, like a tucked in shirt and glasses. And boom, you just move your hair a bit, you're Jeffrey Dahmer. Like, it's not, so many people are going to do it. The fucking Colonel Sanders chicken bucket? I respect the costume. I respect the costume, but why? Like, like, how do you, how do you, I always, I'm always more intrigued by, like, how people come up with their Halloween costumes than what it is to begin with. Like, were you just, like, when you were a kid, were you just in the back of your mom's car, you're eating KFC, and you're just, like, you're, you stare at the KFC guy, and you're, like, that's what I'm gonna be for Halloween. That's what I'm gonna be. Can we send Halloween costumes through the Discord? It's already closed. Should I reopen it? I don't know. Should we reopen it and let people... Because now I feel like people might have good costumes to submit. This is peak laziness. This is, this is peak... I don't know what I'm going to wear. So my mom gave me my literal bed sheet and I cut holes in it. I can add them to the slides. Yeah, Crucible. If you want to reopen, if you want to reopen the Discord uh, submissions, you could. If you if you guys have any that you want to submit, and that Crucible will uh, add the good ones. Nuke for the sub. Um, I don't. I, this this was this might be the worst one. If you want me to be real, this might be the worst one. It's just so low effort. You literally, it's lazy. You, it, it's like it's like what people dressed up as in the fucking sixties, because they didn't know what to do, so they put a bed sheet over their head and cut eye holes in it. What is this? I don't know. I was going to say maybe Edward Scissorhands, but there's no scissors. Is this Edward Scissorhands? Tape face. Okay, so it's tape face. I was going to say it kind of looks like it's the guy from AGT. Oh, shit. The, the fucking famous dude that never talked from fucking America's Got Talent. Dude, I, that was back when I used to watch that shit. America's Got Talent. Uh, tape face. That was a good act. That was actually a good act. Wow, you actually dressed up as that guy. That is a good act. Wow. I feel like that's one that not many people would know. This is tape face from America's Got Talent. It is kind of creepy. That's a respectable fucking costume. Good costume there. All right. Trevor for the subs and for the sub crazy for the sub. All right, next.
it doesn't like see i i always love the combination costumes but it's always just like deciphering something to see what it is like you're 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 holding a gun and in a in a woven wooden basket with what looks to be like maybe a chef's like thing on with a bow and you're wearing a chicken mask what is this this is from payday 2 he's hella buff <laughs> that's what somebody said uh, acid trip costume it's just so random is it actually from payday if it's from payday then that's cool but yeah it's like a gta character it's just kind of matched together wow that must have been expensive as shit if you made that yourself that's from five nights at freddy's which one is that that's a good fucking costume. That's spring trap. That's actually a really good costume. I think that is the best costume we have seen. Actually, though, maybe the plague one, but this one looks like it took longer. To be able to wear that mask, did you buy that? You could have bought that on Etsy or just made it yourself. One of the two. That's a good fucking costume, though. That is the best costume. I haven't played FNAF, but I know all the characters just from, like, watching people play that shit. That's a good fucking costume. That looks like that looks like spring trap. That is actually dope. That is dub in the chat for that one. I, I think that's that's a top three costume thus far. Is that a Pokemon? No. It's FNAF. It's from Five Nights at Freddy's. It's a fucking like horror game franchise. Have you never heard of fucking FNAF? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? You're where you're holding a massive sword. A Viking? Is this a Viking? It's an Elden Ring boss. Is this actually an Elden Ring boss? There's, there's no shot this kid knows what Elden Ring is. That's Radon. So the parents just dress the kid up as Radon. Is that only from Elden Ring though? Or from other fucking, like, Dark Souls games. Nah, ask for the sub. I mean, that's a good costume, but it's like, it's... This kid definitely doesn't know what he's dressed up as. Like, that's like the parents dress you up. A police officer. Eh. Pretty basic. Pretty basic. This is like, this is literally a picture of a picture. This is how I would have had a guy. Like, this, that's how you know this shit's old. Because that's one of those fucking photos you got on a camera and you went to, like, a Walgreens and got it printed out. Same with this. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is literally, like, nightmare flashbacks. Is that Scooby-Doo? Is that Scooby- Don't tell me that's Scooby- Like, a paper mache Scooby-Doo. That is fucking nightmare fuel. And you have the slot to see out of. You look terrified. Probably so excited, though, to be wearing the Scooby-Doo outfit. Oh, my God. This is like your parents made this for you because they didn't, like, they couldn't, like, they, they couldn't find a fucking Scooby-Doo fit. So they, like, paper mache made a Scooby-Doo outfit. Wow. That's scary. That's, like, really scary. That's actually paper mache. Like, someone made that. Somebody hand me. I mean, I respect the fact that they made it, but, like, it just does not work. It, like, this this looks like it's from, like, the early 1900s. What is this? This is some Viking character. What is this? Like, the dog. The dog fucking in, in the photo moving. You can never get a dog to sit fucking still. What is this from? This has to be from a video game. Or is this just like some sort of Viking? It might just be a base Viking. It's from Assassin's Creed. I was gonna say it kind of looks like an Assassin's Creed, like, like, like this kneeling part here. I mean, it's a cool costume. I think the axe kind of carries the axe, and then the thing around the shoulders carries, and then the dog. You know, the dog, the dog just fucking having a mid seizure for the fucking picture. Pandas for the sub. The Halo fit. 
How is that Assassin's Creed? I'm not saying it's Assassin's Creed. I'm saying it could. It looks like a character. Like, you know how all Assassin's Creed are, like, mysterious and they wear the robes with, a, with like, some sort of sword? Is this Halo or Doom? This is Doom? Yeah, I was going to say, this is Halo or Doom. Is this Doom Eternal? Yeah, this is Doom Eternal. That's sixth grade me? Okay, so this is Scarcore's old outfit. From Doom. I mean, it, it, the fit is good. It's just the shotgun looks so fucking fake. I know it has to, but that just kind of, like, ruins it. Just because the shotgun's just, like, it's, like, plastic with an orange tip. Oh, God. What the fuck is that? This isn't even a costume. You're just wearing a bald cap and a suit. What is this? What, what is this costume? Pitbull? This is Pitbull? That's Andrew Tate? That's not Andrew Tate. Oh my god. Andrew Tate doesn't wear suits. Okay, everybody's just saying this is a bald person. You're saying Mr. Worldwide, Andrew Tate, a hitman. Okay, at that point, you could say this is anybody that's bald. Joe Biden? Refresh the slides, I will. Hold up. All right, you added a bunch. All right, we're going to end on we're going to end after that. Don't add any more. We'll end after that. Hold up. I got to find the one I was at. Nah, I mean like that literally just looks like a bald cap. Like it's literally you, th there is no costume. It could be anything. I feel like that's the benefit of the costume though. If you dress up as that, no one's going to know what you are, so they just have to assume that you're somebody that's bald. Another, see, they're all old fits. These are all, like, old pictures. This looks like early 2000s. It might not be. This might be new. But, it, like, th this is just what the fuck. What is that? The Rock. This is Terminator. This is third. King Godzilla said this is me when I was 13. Okay, so this is King when he was 13 as the Terminator. That's okay. I mean, the makeup's good. The makeup's good on the face. It, again, it's just the gun. The gun looks so fucking fake. The rest of the fits looks actually pretty homemade. It might not be homemade, but if it is a store-bought costume, it's a pretty good one. All right. <laughs> oh, not the fucking cow fit. The blown-up pink glove with the half-and-half half milk. Fucking sandals and shorts. This is like the college outfit. This is like, now you're getting into like, now you're getting into like what I'll see when I go to a fucking Halloween party. Like when I go to a fucking Halloween party this, uh, this fucking weekend, this is going to be, this is going to be the lazy fucking costumes. Literally a white shirt with a pinned fucking pink glove on it. Are those supposed to be udders? The Jesus cow? Oh my God. Is it a mixture outfit? Jesus cow half and half? Or is it half and half because it's supposed to be like a goat? Is it a cow and a goat? Okay. <laughs> oh, Donald Trump. Okay, well, you had to see one of those. That was definitely a popular fit in, in 2020. The Trump Pence Keep America Great Again painted full face orange. He has the look... With the with the lip and the squinting, and then just the fucking toupee, it works. It works. Mario fit. I'm gonna call that an L, dude. You gotta like, you gotta be creative. The Mario fit, the old Mario fit. No. Okay. Now this is now this is creative. Now this is from this is that that fucking crazy ass kid from Finding Nemo. What is that kid's name? The one that shakes the fish and almost kills it. Or she kills every fish. She's like she's like the evil villain and like part of Finding Nemo. Darla. Yeah, that fucking crazy bitch. Tell me that's a real fish though. Is that a, if that that actually makes it though, if that's a real fish. I hope you didn't actually kill the fish though. That would be sad if you actually if you actually took the part of Darla and shook the fish to its death. Oh, King for the 300 bits said, Joe, I'm joking. I don't know who that was. Oh, okay. Shady for the five hundred bits. The Terminator one was me from twenty twenty. My dad made it made it look. Oh yeah. So King was lying. That was actually Shady. My dad made it for me in twenty twenty. Took a few months to make. Damn.
How do you see? Like, is that an eye hole? Like, where do you... What is this? Is this a Fortnite skin? Oh my god, is this a Fortnite skin, dude? Stop. Stop. Is this a Fortnite skin? What Fortnite skin is this? What is this? Big Mouth from Fortnite. Bro, but how do you see? Like, you, like I... Oh, wait, maybe it's actually really tall. Maybe their face is, like, here. I'm thinking their face is, like, here. Realistically, they're... Oh, wait, no, but that's their shoulders. So their head's here. Their head is at, like, the top of the costume. How the fuck do you look out of this? Okay. <laughs> the Lego costume? This looks like it's off of Google. Or it's just old as shit. L. That is not the fucking Lego man? Okay. Teletubbies? That's scary as shit. That's a good costume. That's a good costume. That's a good costume. The haunted Teletubbies. Respectable. I like when people do the twists on that. Like the old, like, Blue's Clues, Teletubbies, Veggie Tales. Like you take, like, a childhood show or movie and just make it into, like, some haunted shit. That is actually respectable. Play the Gravity Falls lo fi for the background? Yeah, no. I already. Like that, what the fuck? Like, what, Crucible, what am I going to say about this fucking costume? Is that Dora? That's scary. That's a good costume. What the fuck am I going to say about that? <laughs> the, the fucking Michael Myers one, though? That's actually good. This is a good one. That's actually scary as shit. That looks better than the, that looks better than the movie Michael Myers. Most of the movie Michael Myers, the, the mask is actually more clear. With this, it's actually like dirty as shit. Like, it looks, it looks actually scarier and more, like, realistic. Same with the scar here. Yo, that's actually a W costume. That is actually a W costume. You can see his eyes through the mask? Well, yeah, you're supposed to be able to see the eyes through the mask. That's what Michael Myers is. Zero for the sub. Uh, King for the fringe best. The Fortnite skin is called D's Nuts. Okay. You already showed that cop fit. What is this? Bro, why is everybody fucking barefoot? Put shoes on. You're like you're wearing a costume. Is this what is this? Oh, Bruno Mars? Oh nah. The fucking you really dress as Bruno Mars? He's in his house though, but still you're putting the costume on. Girl, Bruno fucking Mars. Wow. People are dressing up as singers and shit. Taylor Swift, maybe. Taylor Swift. What are what are other fucking singers people dress as? People dress as Bruno Mars, Michael Jackson, Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber. There's a lot of singers people dress up as. Pitbull, Elvis, yeah. P Elvis, that... The fucking cat with the banana, the banana fucking costume on. The banana hat. This one's actually cool. The makeup, the makeup's actually pretty fucking well done. I like the half and half costume. When people do that, like they keep half their face just completely like undone and they paint the other half like a skeleton or something scary like a zombie or vampire. I think that's cool. Respectable. What is his name? Fuck, he's from Nightmare Before Christmas. Skeletor? No, that's not Skeletor. What is that fucking dude's name? Jack Skellington. XJ for the sub. Jack Skellington from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> is he dressed up? Wait, is that his? That's his actual face. He's dressed up as a YouTube apology video. That is actually the most creative one. The fucking the YouTube apology video and the ads. My apology with, like, fucking this, the 10 yep Wait, no, that's more than 10. That's, like, 20 yellow checks. 20 fucking yellow check marks for my apology. That's actually creative. That's, that's, that actually deserves more of a job. I, I will say, I will say that's a creative costume. The army soldier, also a good one. I like the platform. You, all, you went all out with that. Good costume, that is. 
That's what, stop submitting Scooby Doo costumes for. Uh, see, that's what I'm saying. Everybody, when they were a kid, dressed up as Scooby Doo, and they were always bad outfits. See, again, again, I saw. I almost bought this costume last year. You probably got this at Spirit Halloween. It's a SpongeBob fucking fit, and hey, it's a good costume. But the second you start moving, that fucking fan breaks, and then the costume's just ruined. Is this the last one? That's the last one. Dude, that was two hours of fucking going over costumes. Oh, there's one more. Wait, what the fuck is that? This guy dressed as me? Oh, god damn it. This guy dressed up as me? Hold up. Uh, the tank top, the tank top, the hair, I would say the hair is a bit inaccurate. The the sides are cut too short comparable to the top. Like, I actually do keep hair on the sides of my heads. Or my head. You have, like, no hair. That was, like, old Joe Bart. This was, like, like, I'm 20 now. This was, like, 18-year-old Joe Bart. This was, like, senior year Joe Bart. My hair was like that. Because it was just shaved. Senior year Joe Bart was like that. When I started TikTok... In, like, fucking uh, December of 2019, January of 2020, I did look like that. At one point, I did look like this. So that was, it's semi-accurate. If you're going for me now, that doesn't look like me. If you're going for old me, that looks like me. All right. That was a, that was a W fucking uh, reactions to Halloween costumes. Are you all ready to get into actual react reacts now? Um, Do more? Dude, we did 82. I'm not doing more. We did that shit for two hours. I'm trying to watch some fucking videos now. We're not going to be able to actually watch that many. I'm going to save most of these for a different day. We'll be able to do... I think we'll be able to do all three of these. All right. We're going to do... We have three reactions. XJ for the sub. Uh, do we do horror... I'm not doing horror reacts. I was thinking Monday... I don't, I don't want to do... We'll end off with horror reacts, but I want to do these. We're going to do regular first. Do we do horror reactions first? Fuck. I don't want to just do... Tw I don't, I don't want to just do horror reactions. I want to do regular reacts because this is a Sunday. I already reacted to the Mr. Beast video, by the way, for the people that are going to say that. Uh, it's a horror day. Shit. Do we do regular... I said we do regular reactions first, then horror videos. Okay, fine. How about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? We'll do, we'll do two regular reacts, and then we'll do a horror react. How about that? We'll do these two videos, and then we'll go into horror reactions. Yeah, two to three, like two, two normal ones, and then we'll go into regular. Or, wait, two regular, then we'll go into horror. I gotta piss first, though. So we're gonna play fucking music real quick. Because I have to go to the bathroom. Halloween... I'll play something Halloween related. We'll play when I go take a piss. We'll play Halloween related music. All right, hold up. Count me down. Thirty seconds. I'll be back. 